Event two starts with the athlete standing on the platform. At the call of three, two, one, go, the athlete may attempt their first set of overhead squats. Once the athlete has successfully completed three repetitions, the athlete must change the weights to the next attempt. The athlete must load the next weight correctly as well as replace the collars before the next attempt may be made. After every successful set, the athlete continues to add weight in fixed increments until time runs out. The final repetition of the set must be completed before the time cap for that set to be counted. Athletes may choose from four predetermined starting weights on this event. Once the weight is selected, the athlete may not move back down in weight. The starting weight options for the women are 85 pounds, 125 pounds, 155 pounds, or 175 pounds. The starting weight options for men are 135 pounds, 185 pounds, 225 pounds, or 255 pounds. Each set of overhead squats begins with the bar on the platform. The athlete may lift the weight overhead any way they see fit. Once the weight is overhead, we need to see three overhead squats successfully completed. That means we see depth below parallel at the bottom and full extension at the top. If the athlete fails a rep, they may reattempt as long as the weight has not been brought back down. The athlete may bring the bar overhead any way they choose. That includes a squat snatch on the first rep. As long as the athlete passes below parallel and stands back up, that will count as one of their overhead squats. If an athlete fails to complete three successful repetitions, the athlete must reattempt the same weight and get three successful repetitions before moving on. If, on an athlete's final set, they can only complete one or two overhead squats, they will be given credit for those reps. If at any point during the lift, the athlete steps off the platform, that's a no rep. minimum work required is the athlete completes one set of overhead squats. The time cap for this event is seven minutes. At the end of their seven minutes here, the athlete will then have two minutes to transition over to their starting block for the 30 burpee muscle ups for time. And on three, two, one, go, they step forward and they do 30 burpee muscle ups for time. And on their 30th rep, once they finish, they then advance to the red finishing mat where their time will stop. Time. During individual event number three, the rings will be at a fixed height. Athletes may not adjust the rings. Athletes first start with the burpee. That means that the chest and the hips may contact with the mat. Then it's onto the muscle up. The muscle up, we must see the athlete pass through the rings and lock out at the top. If the athlete's heels pass above the rings during the kip, that's a no rep. During the burpee, if either the chest or the hips fail to touch the mat, that's a no rep. If the arms don't reach full extension at the top of the dip, that's a no rep. There's no hanging requirement for the muscle up. Athletes may choose to jump right into their muscle up without reaching extension at the bottom. During the burpee muscle up, we must see a muscle up performed. Any uprise or other gymnastic skill will not count. For individual event three, the athlete must complete three burpee muscle ups to continue in the competition. The time cap for this event is seven minutes.